KETK News. You're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back. Joining us now is Mariel Fernandez from Blue Sprig Pediatrics. Good morning. Good morning. Now today is World Autism Acceptance Day. Tell us a little bit about this day and what it's about. Yeah, April 2nd is the day that we join together to celebrate being inclusive of individuals with autism spectrum disorders. And April is Autism Acceptance Month. And historically, today is the day that the community, the autism community and those supporting that community have really come together to increase awareness, accepting, acceptance, understanding and inclusion. So it's a little bit different than an awareness day. Can you talk a little bit about the shift from autism awareness to autism acceptance? Absolutely. I think historically we've talked a lot about autism awareness, but you know, one in 54 children are diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder, according to the Centers for Disease Control and their most recent data. And so I think the vast majority of Americans are aware of autism, but we're not necessarily accepting. And so acceptance is truly that first step to inclusion. Inclusion is our goal. And acceptance comes with understanding and the opportunity for us to create a more inclusive and supportive world and a more inclusive and supportive experiences for individuals diagnosed with autism. How can someone help support maybe a family or a child or an adult, somebody living on the spectrum? I think that's a great question. And the, the most important thing to remember is that nothing is ever going to be one size fits all. If you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. And what might be helpful or supportive for one person or their family may or may not be for another. I think the best thing to do is ask, what do you need? How can I support you? Or honestly, just be there to listen. And it's really critically important that we're teaching our children about autism and that we're making sure that we're encouraging them to be kind and inclusive. There's a wonderful book by Ellen Sabin called The Autism Acceptance Book. And I think that's a really great place to start. If a parent is concer concerned that their child might be at risk for an autism diagnosis, what's your recommendation? Early intervention is always going to be the best intervention. And I would really encourage anyone who's concerned about their child meeting developmental milestones related to social communication. So things like eye contact or responding to their name or interacting or showing interest in those around them or if they have challenges related to patterns of behavior. So maybe having a really difficult time with minor changes to their routine or limited interest in toys, um, they should really schedule an appointment with their pediatrician and specifically ask for an autism screening. With early intervention, children with autism can learn how to learn, they can learn how to communicate and how to really meaningfully inter interact with others. I know that you guys just hosted a sensory friendly um, Easter egg hunt. What was that even just last week? Uh, tell us what else Blue Sprague Pediatrics does to support children and adults living with autism. Yeah, um, so Blue Sprague Pediatrics is a leading applied behavior analysis provider. We have locations in over 20 states throughout the country, including Texas. Our home is in Houston. And we're, we're so focused on our mission, and that's changing the world for children with autism. Part of changing the world is obviously to increase awareness, acceptance, and inclusion. But our goal is to support the children and families we serve by teaching them how to learn, how to communicate. And ultimately, our goal is to teach them how to advocate for themselves. We're so incredibly honored to be able to support the Tyler community, and we've worked very hard to establish relationships with other providers in the Tyler area. I truly believe that part of fulfilling our mission is to connect families with the services they need and collaborate and be part of a multidisciplinary team. So we would absolutely love to help any of your viewers gain access to support our services and our website, um, bluesburgautism.com, will include contact information and how we can help just connect members of the community with the resources that they need for their children to be successful. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back with more of East Texas Live in a couple of minutes.